everybody, it's Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with our video series on the French defense. This is the classical Steinitz variation. Um, and we've looked at this position. This is going to be our third video in this position. In the Winowar video, which you may or may not have watched yet, Bishop B4, the McCutcheon variation was Bishop G5, Bishop E4. And this video is with E5. And I would guess nowadays, 2021, of the three, the Winowar, the McCutcheon, and the classical, this is the most common. Okay, and Karen has black in these positions all the time. Many grandmasters do. Okay, knight d7 is the, the science variation. This is the most common move by far. Now, black's going to attack these pawns. Okay, black's going to play c5 and knight c6 and hammer those pawns. So, grandmasters always play f4 here, defending this pawn more. And then knight f3. And this position, this is a very common position. Okay, and white has more than one way to play, but usually white plays bishop e3. That's 90% of grandmaster games. <clears throat> okay, now black has a big choice. CD4 is pretty common. Queen B6 is pretty common. Bishop E7 is, is pretty common. Um, yeah. So if you want to, you know, we can, we can play Queen B6. And then after Knight A4 attacking the Queen, Queen check, Knight C3, we could play a Grandmaster draw if you want. Okay, that's sort of silly, but it could happen. Okay, now the more likely thing to happen uh, instead of this, you know, this forced draw is after queen b6, uh, white has more than one move here. White doesn't necessarily have to be afraid of queen takes b2 because that's very dangerous for black. Sometimes knight here is good. Sometimes knight here is good. And sometimes we can just sacrifice a pawn and we don't, we don't care. Here's an example. If I play a3, which looks silly, the point is... Taking is a blunder because your queen's trapped now because I took away the a3 and the b4 squares. If you're going to play queen takes b2 with black in any position, you better be really careful. Your queen can easily get trapped. So you got to be careful when you do that. That's not, not the safest. Um, <clears throat> white could just play bishop e2 here. White could play queen d2. White can play knight a4. There's, there's a lot of moves. a3 is a move. And... Black's attacking d4, black's attacking b2, but it's not clear that black can ever take these things without something bad happening. One of the most famous variations is a peace sacrifice. Instead of knight c3, you play c3, and black takes this, and white plays the move b4. And black doesn't want to retreat and give white like a really nice position where black has no counterplay. So black sacrifices a piece and takes on b4. And then you take it. And, and black is down a piece, check. But he's threatening the bishop. So bishop d2 is forced, check. The queen has to defend the knight. So knight takes is forced. And there's many grandmaster games in this position from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And I think grandmasters like it for white. But you may have a difference of opinion. You might say, ooh, I like all those pawns. And, you know, white usually plays knight here and gets the knight back that way. And it's a very strange position. It's three pawns for a piece. Position's sort of weird. So you have to know that if you're going to play either side of that variation. Um, and, of course, black can also just take everything. Black can take on d4. Knight takes. He can keep taking. And just keep trading, 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 trading. White should be better there because white's white square bishop is better than black's white square bishop. Um, and black could just ignore everything and play like a6, try to play b5 and just advance on the, on the queen side. Or black could play bishop e7 and just castle. And maybe later play f6, attacking the, the, e, the e5 pawn some more. There's a lot of different ways for black to play. So you got to figure out which one is the way for you. White has a big space advantage. Black gets to attack the center. 
Sometimes black attacks this pawn, and white could get overextended. If white moves things too far away, sometimes they fall apart. Um, grandmasters usually prefer white in this position, but some of them will play black also. It's very good if you want to avoid a draw and you're trying to look for some complicated game. This will be the position for you. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold with the Classical Variation. I hope you enjoyed the series. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, everybody.